Greetings pilots, welcome to Starlink Academy. Today, we'll be talking about how to build a ship, some of the rules of construction, and what happens if you get shot down. Don't worry, you'll be fine. First, connect your controller mount to your controller. Next, choose your pilot and slide them into the mount. Each pilot has a unique personality, dialogue, special ability, and skill progression. A short video will play introducing your pilot. Now, grab a ship hull and attach it over your pilot using the backing plate on the pilot to guide the ship into the proper positioning. Listen for a click to ensure a solid connection. Next, attach your wings, which offer different bonuses to energy, armor, or maneuverability. Finally, link weapons to your wings, and you're ready to explore the stars. If you need to make a change while out adventuring, simply pull a part off and replace it with one that better suits your needs. The game will pause by default, but as you get more comfortable, you can turn this feature off so you can truly swap on the fly. There's one more important feature exclusive to the Nintendo Switch version of Starlink. If you link Fox McCloud's legendary R-Wing Starship, its wings have built-in laser cannons that are active as long as no additional weapons are attached. These work just like in the Star Fox games, including the charge shot functionality. Let's try a build. I'm gonna pick Shade, one of the sassier members of the Outlaw faction slide her into the mound here. Next, I'll snap on Judge's ship Neptune, which has a very high defense rating, but is also quite heavy. I want a serious tank, so I'll add these Zenith wings to further boost my defense stat. I need some extra handling, so I'll add one wing from Chase's ship Pulse, and then another from Shade's ship Nadir. Each wing boosts a stat, but you can only have three on each side. Finally, I'm taking my favorite missile launcher, Levitator and Volcano, which spews superheated magma at a high rate of fire. Okay, you've got the basics down, but what happens if you run into trouble? If your ship is destroyed, you can always swap out a new hull and continue right where you left off. Simply remove your ship by tilting it to the side slightly while pulling it off. Then snap on a new hull. Feel free to keep or swap any wings or weapons to adapt to the current challenge. And that's it. Make sure that you try out all the different combinations of pilots, ships, wings, and weapons until you find a playstyle that suits you the best. Stay tuned for more Starlink Academy videos in the near future. Thanks for watching, pilots. We'll see you in the stars.